What's up guys? Welcome to Uncharted Florida. I'm Scott. And we are back out here at the beach this afternoon and it is cold and it's blown about 20 miles an hour. So I'm excited you guys are joining me. We're going to see what we can catch. We got about an hour of sunlight left. So we're going to see what we can make happen. It is super windy. It is super cold for Florida standards. And I'm probably going to start with one rod out here because I don't know what this current's doing. But I'm going to use that six ounce weight. I may just throw some fish bites on to start with and see if we got anything going on. Let's get that line in the water. Oh, it is windy today. We're going to go with six ounce. I think we're going to need it. And I love these sand spikes. Sand spikes are awesome because they've got this little bait tray and cutting board there. We're going to go with the triple rig today with the pink floats. You got to love these triple rigs. If for nothing else, you can see it captures every hook. You got one hook there and you hook the other two hooks to one another and then you detach your weight when you're ready to go. This won't tangle at all. So to hook on these fish bites, what I like to do is put the first pass through the top corner like that, roll it around, put it through like that. That's gonna hold it on a little bit longer than just one time through. And when you go with fish bites only, you can really send that rod because you're not gonna fling the bait off. That's a six ounce weight right there. And you can see those waves are just shooting down. It's holding, it's actually holding right now. You can't see that line, but it is, it's looping way out with the wind and comes back around. We're gonna throw on a few frozen sand fleas and see if that can get them going. We're gonna try these real weird shaped weights today. This is a five ounce weight, but it's in the shape of like a weird pyramid type uh, anchor. It's got these little spikes on it. Supposedly these hold like the, the size above in pyramid. So this should hold like a six ounce. Let's see. It is just so rough and windy that I can't even keep bait on there. It just gets washed off right away. These squall-like winds are just making it almost impossible. It's hard to tell if that's a bite right there or if that weight's skipping along. That's that weird shaped anchor weight. That five ounce anchor like weight was not working. So we're going to switch to a five ounce pyramid. I don't have another six, but we'll see if this five ounce can do it. One of the subscribers, Joseph, recommended we use some of this bait string to help keep those uh, frozen sand fleas on the hook. So I'm going to bring one of these in. This will be the ultimate test of that. I mean, it's not really a fair test, but we'll see if that can keep those sand fleas on the hook in these real rough currents. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. I am just going to wrap it, I guess. I don't really know how many times you're supposed to wrap it, but I figure maybe the more the better. See how that goes. First cast with the bait string rigged up. So far that looked pretty good. The bait didn't fly off on that one. 
even if these weights are skipping along the bottom, we'll still let that ride. We'll cast it up current, and if it's sliding slow enough, that's still going to allow us to present that bait for a short period of time, and we'll recast again. All right, let's check and see how these sand fleas are staying on with that string. Oh my gosh, look at this. All of them are on and they're in perfect condition. This stuff works awesome. I'll tell you what, that standard five ounce pyramid sinker held a whole lot better than that five ounce anchor sinker. In my opinion, there is no reason to ever get that anchor sinker. It held probably like a three or four ounce pyramid wood. I gotta tell you, that bait string is a game changer. That was the second cast with those. And those fleas are still on there. We may have a fish on right here. Nope. Man, that bait string works so good. That sat out there in that washing machine for like 30 minutes and all of them are still sitting on there after that real hard, long cast. So I learned two new things today. That anchor style sinker does not perform better than a pyramid sinker. If anything, it performs one to two ounces less her weight than a pyramid. Second thing is, man, that bait string is a game changer. I'm gonna start using that every time. We may have a fish on here. If you enjoy surf fishing and offshore fishing content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you wanna see more content like this or more epic fish catches, check out these surf fishing videos or these offshore fishing videos. I'll see you next time.